All right. Hey, everybody, what's up? This is RDH Davis, and today we're going to play Silent Hill 2 on the PlayStation 2, by the way. I've been looking forward to playing this game for a long time. It's been a long time since I played this game, and I'm very excited to be playing it again for you guys and go down memory lane. Oh, my God. Okay, so story time. Story time. We're also playing this game because the remake of this game is coming up soon. I don't know when. They released the trailer, like, maybe a year ago. No word yet, no news about when you could already pre-order it, nothing yet. But anyways, uh, story time really quick, guys. So a long time ago when this game came out in what, in 2001, back then I would play just Resident Evil. All Resident Evil games. And Resident Evil 2 was my very first horror game, right? And I had um, a little brother-in-law. He, you know, had this game. And I told him, wow, you have that game? Uh oh, well, little trailer going on. James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything, but you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? Ah, good times, good times. The CGI guys in this game is incredible. It's just beautiful. Hold on, I don't want to get in trouble. You know, because I don't want to get any copyright strikes or anything. But anyways, those of you who have played this game back in the PlayStation 2 era, oh my god, the soundtrack was incredible. But anyways, when I told my little br uh, brother-in-law, like, I'm like, you have this game? I've been, I've seen it in the stores, like the cover of it. And I even looked at the back cover and there was this woman in that, the one that you just saw right now, in the red cardigan. I was like, I wonder who she is, but she catches my attention, and she's pretty. But anyways, I was like, I've been wanting to play it, and he's like, it's too scary. And I'm like, that's impossible. There's no other horror game scarier than Resident Evil. <laughs> Boy, was it. And he's like, no, play it, play it for me. I'm like, okay, I guess I'll give it a shot. I've been wanting to play it, give it a shot. And boy, when I started playing this game, guys, let me tell you, I was hooked. I was hooked. This game was terrifying. This game beats Resident Evil. <laughs> oh my god, this game beats Resident Evil. Because the soundtrack is just magnificent. The, this sound, the, the, the composer for this soundtrack is just so unique. It's both horrifying, disturbing, eerie, and yet beautiful at the same time because it, it does have its beautiful moments. I remember I introduced the soundtrack, even the first movie to my friends, and they also loved how beautiful the soundtrack sounded when it had, you know, when it would play the piano. But then when it would get to its horrifying moments, oh my god. It's, it's like... It's like the composer was meant to do the soundtrack for this game. But yeah, but I believe, by the way guys, happy anniversary to Silent Hill 2. Happy anniversary. This game came out like, let me see, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it was released in North America September 25th in 2001. Then later it was released in Japan September 27th in 2001, and then so on. Oh my god. And just rewatching this trailer is bringing me back memories. I love guys, I love that character. Her name is Maria and we'll you'll get to know who she is in the game once we get started. It doesn't matter who I am. I'm here for you, James. See? I'm real. I mean, look at the the CGI in this game. The, the, this game was ahead of its time, definitely. Like, they, I played Silent Hill 1 a long time ago as well. 
but then playing um and then playing this one it's like they took a you know they took up a, up a notch <laughs> but it's a it's a really good game guys and if you if it's your first time watching this game you chose me to be you know you chose me to uh watch this game for the first time i'm honored and you guys are in for a treat because if they're if I've always when I heard about the announcement that they're gonna remake this game, I was both excited yet nervous because this game is a classic. It is a one of those true horror classics that you, it's a must have. It, it's 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 a game that you have to play at least one time. Even if you play it one time, you'll just keep playing it over and over again because there are multiple endings in this game. Depending on the the actions that you do and how you play the game determines the ending that you'll get especially if you find some secret items too there are there are some secret items that you can get that give you like a certain different ending um but yeah i played this game over and over and over again because i was just hooked it's like playing a movie a really good a real good horrifying movie i was impressed with the voice acting the cgi just how the story itself the story itself is what got me into wanting to know more of what the hell was going on in this town and if this main character of what he's who he's looking for is still out there oh and then just the, the the horrifying things that this game puts you through is just so good it's so good so um so yes after i was uh, so sorry so back to this uh, i'll try to wrap it up really quick so after i was done playing this game for my little uh because <laughs> he was young and he should have been playing this game but anyways i was like you shouldn't be having this game it's right and for mature anyways after we were done playing it i was horrified i loved it this, the ending of what i got was sad and i was like no there's got to be more to it and i played it over and over again and i got different endings i got i saw all the different endings and then i got the real the good 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 ending and anyways um after that I was like, I need to get a copy for myself, and I did. I went to go get a copy of it of, uh, of Silent Hill 2 at GameStop for myself. I got it, and yeah, and yeah, I loved it. It's at Silent Hill, and it's so funny how Resident Evil 2 was the first Resident Evil game I played, and the rest was history. And then when I got into Silent Hill, the Silent Hill franchise, it had to be Silent Hill 2. And it just so happens like Part 2, are, I guess, are the best from the sequels, <laughs> from the franchises, in my opinion, at least. But okay, guys, let's get started, shall we? We're going to get started. Enough talk. Story time's over. Sit back and relax. Those of you who are have already played this game, I hope you guys enjoy going down memory lane, memory lane with me and celebrating this game's anniversary. Cheers, cheers. And uh, also... In case for those of you who will be seeing this for the first time, sit back and relax and enjoy the show. So we're going to do this on normal because I I looked at the old files and I mostly did it on easy. I did. I did it on easy. So it's like, okay, let's do hard. Let's do, no, not hard, but let's do normal. Maybe one day I'll stream it. I'll stream myself playing hard mode. By the way, I hope everything looks good. Like the, one second. Maybe I should adjust. One second. Sorry. Aha! I knew something was off. I knew something was off. There, I think that looks a lot better, right? Yeah? Alright, let's do this, guys. New game. Normal and normal. Oh god, the riddles in this game, guys? Wish me luck. Wish me luck. There are going to be times where I'm probably going to get stuck. By the way, I'm not too sure if I will have the my. <gasps> shh, shh, shh. Cutscene. Shh. <sighs> Just look at the CGI, and the graphics in this game. Look at the details, the atmosphere. Ah. Uh. And the soundtrack, doesn't it sound beautiful? Mary, could you really be in this town? Mary, 
By the way, the composer the, the, the composer for this game is Akira Yamaoka. Wonderful composer, and I hope they bring him back for the remake of, of this game, Silent Hill 2. So anyways, as I was saying, if they're going to remake this game, they better do a damn good job. Because it is a classic. It's just too bad that the remastered version for this game came out. I'm not too sure when for the PlayStation 3, guys. And it was awful. It's awful. I never got it, but then it's a good thing I didn't because when I heard the reviews, they said it was awful. That it felt unfinished. They had to get new voice actors to, to do the voiceovers for these characters. I've heard they didn't. They did their best, but it didn't sound too good. It's better with the original voice actors. And the reason why is because I think, from what I remember, the original voice actors for this game didn't sign a contract or something for them to for them to give them permission to still keep using their voices. So, I'm so excited, guys! Also, my PlayStation Two, the old one died, unfortunately, but I bought a new one. This one's working so perfectly. It's working perfectly. So I was so excited to be playing all my PlayStation 2 games. Especially this one. Oh, shh. Sh I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. alone there now in our special place waiting for you I got a letter the name on the envelope said Mary <gasps> my wife's name Ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. That's what I keep telling myself. A dead person can't write a letter. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. So then, why am I looking for her? on the lake we spent the whole day there just the two of us staring at the water could Mary really be there is she really alive waiting for me All right, so there you have it, guys. We're here to find my wife. By some, re by some reason, she's alive. We received a letter from her, and she's waiting for us. Does that mean we have a second chance to be with my wife again? Maybe she got saved? I got a map of Silent Hill. All right, guys, the adventure begins. This is the road I came in on. There's no point in going back. By the way, guys, you should know better. But just in case for those of you who are new to my channel. Um, I'm the type of player that is in no hurry. I don't rush. I don't speed run or anything. I like to take my time and just enjoy the game. And that's what we're here to do. Oh, that's how you do it. I'm going to be a little rusty because, like I said, I haven't played this game in a while. So, welcome. But it's a dead end. What does it say? I can't go any further by car. Guess I'll have to walk. Alright, let's go this way. Where's everybody? Toluca Lake. This way? 
Well, I guess we're gonna go down here. <laughs> yeah, just remembering when I first played this game with my little brother-in-law. I was like, it's so foggy, but the soundtrack is really creepy. <gasps> also, if you pay, if you pay close attention, sometimes you hear like, like sounds that you're like, is that part of the soundtrack? Or some, is, is there someone or something really out there? I'm coming, Mary. I'm coming, baby. Is someone there? Something's out there, guys. Something's getting louder. <gasps> There's something in the wall. In, in the well. What's that? Looking at this makes me feel like someone's groping around inside my skull. It gives me a weird feeling. Ah! <laughs> All right. We are going to save over these. I don't mind. You see, it's like easy. All right. Yeah. Actually, should I? Or should I just overwrite it over here? Hold on. Yeah, I should. I should just overwrite it over here. Why not? Save completed. Forest. Okay. All right, guys. Let's keep going. We have a long way to get to the town. A gate. Can I turn the, there we go. I'm gonna have to, it's gonna take me some time to get used to the camera angles in this game. Excuse me, I... <gasps> oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I, no, I was No, it's just... okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? <laughs> yeah. I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. It's hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... Yes? I think you'd better stay away. Why? This, uh... Th this town... There's something wrong with it. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Is it dangerous? Maybe. And it's not just the fog, either. 
Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. No, I believe you. It's just... I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going to town either way. But why? <laughs> I'm looking for... someone. Who... who... who is it? Someone... very important to me. I'd do anything if I could be with her again. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I, I mean my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. I thought my father and brother were here, but... I can't find them either. I'm sorry. It's not no, your problem. I... I Aww. hope you find them. Yeah, you too. See, that soundtrack? Wasn't that beautiful? Those are the, like, really nice moments. What is it? Oh, nothing. Sure is quiet here, huh? I guess. Uh, well, take care. How many of you guys seen the movie? I thought the first movie, they did a real good job with it. I, w I really liked it. Even though they made some changes, I was like, I was okay with it. It's the best one we've got so far. They, are, they also said they're going to work on some new Silent Hill movies, so until then, we'll see. We'll wait and see how those turn out. Silent Hill 2, the movie, eh, they could have done better. It was based on the third game, but I, I don't... The music changed. Uh, but anyway, I don't think they did very good. They could have done way better with the second film. I appreciate the little Easter eggs they did, but at the same time, like, I think, in my opinion, it's nice to have Easter eggs that you put, like, from the game into the movie, and it's nice to have those nostalgia moments or those moments where we're like, oh, that's from the game! You know, we like those moments, right? But, I think you need, you also need to give us a good story a, a, a good movie with a good story and do it justice like the way we like how we enjoyed the how we enjoyed the the video games if that makes sense to you guys i hope that makes sense because i feel like they think oh we're just gonna throw these in there these little easter eggs for the fans and that way they'll love it it's like yeah we do don't get us wrong but at the same time don't just also don't think that that's going to make up for a crappy story and a crappy movie. <gasps> Is that a... What the hell? What the hell? got a chainsaw now that weapon guys hold on you don't get this weapon the chainsaw not until after you beat the game <laughs> but since I've already beaten it we, we get the chainsaw so we got it we got it and this this it's covered in blood but why Man. I'm also going to look around so that way you guys enjoy the atmosphere. Let's see if you might see something in the distance. You never know what you might find in the fog. 
in Silent Hill. The hell? Oh yeah, so your character, in the Silent Hill games, your character can run, but then eventually they'll get tired and then they'll start running slow. As you can see, he starts running real, real fast. But then he'll start running slow. Right now, look now, he's running a little bit slower. Danger. All right, James, catch your breath. There you go. When they start, when they stop breathing like that, then they're ready to sprint again. Shit. Looks like we're going this way. This is insane. Why am I coming all the way out here just to find my wife? Why would she be here? Why couldn't she just come home? By the way, I wonder if, if the, is this the road that the main character from Silent Hill One drives through, and then he, then that police officer Sybil passes him. Is this the same road, guys? Could be wrong. It's a pretty small road. looking around. <gasps> Did y'all hear that? construction ahead. Road what? Road runner. So guys, when I came, when I first played this game, and I came to the town, and I heard that sound, I was like, what the hell is that? We're right here. It's road. What? Saunders Road? There it is, that sound. So remember when I said that I'm the type of player that likes to take his time? I'm also the type of player that likes to look at everything. It's because of this game and Resident Evil that they both taught me the importance of looking at everything. Because you do get some ammunition, some health. Is that it? 
First aid kit. All right, you see? First item. Well, actually, the chainsaw, but first health item. Yeah, so the first Silent Hill game came out on the PlayStation 1 with the polygon graphics and all. But then when this game came out, man, I'm pretty sure those of you, because th like I said, remember, Silent Hill 2, this one was my very first Silent Hill game I played. And then it was, the rest was like three, four. I didn't play part one until like later on. But I'm pretty sure the fans who have played part one were very impressed with the graphics in this second game. How they took it to the next level. <gasps> Is that... Is that blood? These marks. Blood? <gasps> that shadow just now. Would you guys follow it? <laughs> I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be in this town in the first place. I wouldn't be in this town in the first place. And I remember what um, I even told my little brother-in-law. I was like, dude, nothing's happening. I mean, sure, the, the, the background sounds are creepy and all. He's like, no, just wait. And then when I saw that thing, I was like, oh, what the hell? Is that a zombie? Because, you know, I was always so used to zombies. But Silent Hill gave me a new nightmare. <gasps> there it is. More blood. What's out there? We need to follow the blood marks. <gasps> Look, another one. A health drink. Marvelous. Go into this direction. What's the name of the street? Batch. Guys, what if it's my wife? Oh yeah, and then also, you know, since we're playing this game back on the PlayStation 2, remember, Back then, the games don't didn't have auto saves. Not all of them. This is one of those games where you just you gotta make sure you save every progress that you make. Because if you don't and you die, and you you know you struggle to find your way to get through certain parts of the game, you gotta make sure you you save. You better make sure you save your progress. Man, I really, I really do hope they do a good job with the remake of Silent Hill 2. Because I did play... What was her name? I did play... What was it called? Well... I did play the Blair Witch Project, and the developers of that game are the ones that are going to work on Silent Hill 2, the remake. And what did I think about the Blair Witch Project, the video game? I didn't like it, guys. What about you? Did some of you...
sweetie. Uh, have you seen my wife? <laughs> By the way, hold on. Oh! Oh, man. Is it dead? What the hell is it? It's not human. So when I first, when I encountered this monster for the first time, I was like, "Oh my god, it's showing the butt!" <laughs> Dead? Could it have been that creature? What's going on in this town? Oh, hold on, I don't got a clue. By the time I noticed something was wrong, the entire city was infested with this fog and monsters. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, the radio that we found. This thing broken. <gasps> what the? I better take it anyway. I might need it. Well then, looks like we got ourselves a weapon. A stick! <gasps> and then look! I'm leaving footprints of blood. Alright. Well, we didn't find anything over here. My wife was not over here. By the way, yes, yeah, so the developer's name that created uh, the Blair Witch Project, the video game, their name is Blooper Team. And it's the same developers that are going to work on Silent Hill 2, the remake. So after playing Blair Witch Project, the game, you know how I said I was disappointed? I don't know about you guys. Were you disappointed with the game? How, like, did any of you guys played that game? If so, what did you think? I didn't like it, and since I didn't have a good time with that game, I thought it was kind of like, not really good. I thought in the middle part was very interesting. The, the beginning was kind of boring. Then the end, it just dragged and dragged. Like, I just wanted it to be, I wanted the whole thing to be over. Actually, how's my health? That's uh, all right. All right, guys, so now we need to find where we need to go. <gasps> oh God. No! Oh shit. It's following me. Also, we don't have to fight all the monsters. I remember I tried falling, fighting them, but it's better to just run. They're pretty slow. There's no need to fight them. Oh god, oh god, oh god. So what I'm going to do is look around town. That way I have a chance to look for some items, supplies. Is there anything up there? Health drink. Go, 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 go. Okay, where are we? Oh my god, I'm so sorry that it's so bright. I'm so sorry that it's so bright. Hold on one second. Option. 
Maybe I should lower down the brightness just a little bit. Let me see how that looks. Yeah, that's a little bit better. I apologize, guys. That was so bright for me, too. All right, so happy burger. We're here. We already looked over there. We went over there. Okay, so we're going to go down Saunders Street. We're going to go to S Sal Street. Let's go over there. Oh, boy. Now it's a little bit darker. I don't like the way that looks. Hold on. That's what stinks. I might have to go back and forth adjusting the brightness a little bit, guys. So I hope you don't mind. Oh, shit. Oh shit. Yeah, so just ignore the monsters. But sometimes you will have to fight. You will have to fight. What's this place? Silent Hill Post Office. I'm gonna go back to see if my, by any chance I didn't miss anything. Oh my god, no! Oh my god, that monster came out from underneath the car. Probably is crawling around. No. No. Burger King. <laughs> Happy burger. What's this? All right, first aid kit. So far, so good. <gasps> Gotta go. going that way. Oh shit. <gasps> Hello? Anybody here? There's a memo line on the sofa. I'll wait at Barnelli's. Wait, how come it doesn't look that bad? Did I not change? Wait, I copied it onto my own map. Wait a second, did I not? How come it didn't look too bad there? One second. Brightness level. What the heck? That's weird. That's weird. Okay, so not bad. Parking lot, we're gonna overwrite. Okay, let's get out of here. That's it though, right? There's nothing else in here? Okay, so looks like we're gonna have to go to Barnelli's. Did my wife write that? What the hell? Did y'all hear that? Why did it have that little nice moment there? It's locked. So let me take a look at the map again. Yeah, it actually looks way better. 
Maybe I had it all the way up to seven, the brightness. All right, well, at least now this looks good. It's right there. So we're gonna go, watch out. Hello? Check out something really quick. If I were to, if I were to go to option. Or oh, one more. I think it's still the same. Yeah, let's just put it back to, um, yeah, I could already see that the words look a little bit too bright. Okay, so six will be the best bet. Okay. I apologize about that, guys. There you go. And then the med kit doesn't look too bright either. Okay. What does this say? There was a hole here. It's gone now. There was a hole here. It's gone now. Oh, I don't have a flashlight yet. There's a map here. Holy smokes, this looks nasty. What's that symbol at the end of, the, of Martin Street? There's something here. And Woodside Apartment. I copied it onto my own map. Okay. Looks like we have another destination to get to go to, guys. <gasps> Hello? Sir? My God, what did those things do to him? I'm pretty sure the stuff that they shoot Silent Hill Travern, the stuff that they sh they shoot at you is acid. Because in the movie, when they made their... Oh, look! <gasps> to think I would have missed it. First aid kit. Those are going to be handy. Uh, when they... When they... Wait! Oh, my God. Shit. When they brought these things onto the live action movie, the first one, it looked pretty cool. And they did shoot acid at you. What? See, what I like is that, like in Resident Evil, when the character's looking down at something, it's because they're looking at either an enemy or an item. So it's always important to, to pay attention to if their head starts like turning to the side. Basketball. What the hell was that? <gasps> God, don't do that. Oh my God, there's a whole bunch of them. All right, we're going the right way. See, when he turns his head, it's because he's looking at something. Thank you, James. I hear that weird sound. What the hell is that? It's like a toy or something. 
What are you looking at? <gasps> I thought there was supposed to be an item there. Let's go. <gasps> I got the apartment gate key. Oh my god! Oh my god! No 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 no! I thought I could kick it. Forget it. Let's just go, dude. That's a, it's a bug. That's what those things are. It's a huge nasty bug that wanted to bite me. Ew. That was disgusting. That creeped me out. I just saw that. Is he following me? I hope that bug is not following me. Okay guys, so we got ourselves a key. Hold on one second. This is not the right. An apartment gate key. Old looking key that I found in town. The wood apartment. I'm still gonna look around to make sure I don't miss any supplies, health, ammunition. Oh my god. No, no, no! Ugh. Yeah, you gotta kick it. If you wanna finish it off, kick it. Make sure you kick it. <gasps> Another one. Those things are crawling everywhere. Are they gone? Jeez. Sir, are you all right? <gasps> There's a memo pad on the ground. I'm going to write everything that I've learned so far. Maybe that will help you out somehow. If you're reading this, it probably means I'm already dead. A torn memo. I saw those demons. They were there, I'm certain. But my friend says he didn't see anything. If that's true, does that mean that what I saw was an illusion? But whether that demon was that eight human beings was real or whether it was just some kind of hallucination that my mind dreamed up, one thing I know for sure is that I'm beyond all hope. It seems that there attracted to light. That's why people who need light to see are their natural prey. They also react strongly to sound. Do they? If you want to go on living, you better, you're better off just sitting in the dark and stay, staying quiet. But even that probably won't even save you. If you're going to try to fight them, the most important thing is to relax. It's dangerous to fire a gun while you're all crazy with fear. Take good aim and then squeeze the trigger. And don't forget to finish them off. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so when the monsters go down, guys, when we start shooting them or hitting them and they fall to the ground, kick them. You, you still got to kick them to finish them off because otherwise, if they're still twitching, that means they're still alive and they're going to get back up. Um, I think most of those creatures can be killed, even if they are tougher than people. Run away. 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 bother with that thing. I 
I heard that insect. I heard that bug coming. Is there another one? Yes, there is. <gasps> Hang on bullets, but we don't have a gun yet. I gotta wait until we could cross. Okay. Oh, fat shaming me? Okay. Oh, time to run! I think I'm going the wrong way, but let me see. Now I'm good. Going the right way. Yeah, because I just wanted to go this way really quick. Across the street. We've already been here. we could find. Hold on. One last look. No, I think we're good. Let's get out of here. those bugs <gasps> it's a dead end okay we pretty much explored the whole area The door that wakes in darkness, opening into nightmares. Oh god, those... Wait, what? It's locked. The road is blocked. I can't go any further this way. I can't... I can't make it to the park this way. I have to find another way. Oh! So we're trying to get to the park. Rosewater Park. That's where we need to get to. Up there. But it looks like we're going to have to go through the apartments. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is it? Yes. Garbage. No use for that. It's locked. Guys, here we go. Is that a map? Oh, it's so bright. Woodside apartment, first floor. Might have to adjust the, the brightness again whenever I look at the maps. Hmm. Another health drink. One second. 
It's locked. Graffiti's on the walls. There's monsters in here. Oh boy. What I need to do is find a, fa a flashlight. Because then otherwise I can't interact with anything with if I don't have a flashlight. This is a closet. Can you shall receive? You got a flashlight. <gasps> Kick it. <laughs> now let me tell you, when I got that flashlight and that thing rose up, I got so terrified. I freaked out. Wait, what? What did it say? But now we have a flashlight. <laughs> How to be a happy couple. Do you really love her in sickness and in health? If you truly love her, then you must act. It all depends on how hard you fight for her. Whatever happens, don't give up. Always try just one more time, even though there may be hard times. Never turn to another woman. Hmm. Never turn to an. Wait. Never turn to another woman. And if you and if it comes to it, you must be willing to protect her with your very life. After all, true love means a willingness to sacrifice. True. True. Be true to your heart. And with luck, things will work out in the end. By the way, did we take a good look at this dress? Just a mannequin. But these clothes. <gasps> look. No, wait, 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 wait. Look, guys, this is what he's talking about. This is what he's talking about. This is my fo picture of Mary, right? A photo from when she was still healthy. You can't see it very well, but that she's wor that outfit that's on the mannequin is the same dress that she's wearing in the photograph. I didn't notice it until like later on. <laughs> Probably like until my second playthrough or more. Okay, looks like we're done here. Oh man, there's another mannequin up ahead. I don't think I should be exploring these. I don't even have, I need, no, 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 no. Uh, I don't think I should be here. Oh shit, that's kind of creepy. I hope you guys saw that, did you see that? Over there. No, 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 no. We need to, 
need to find a gun. I need a gun. Oh my god, weird camera angle. But at least now, we have a flashlight, guys, to help us see in the dark. I miss the soundtrack of Silent Hill. It's so good. Is that a key? There's a key on the ground on the other side of the bars. If I stretch my arm out, I just might be able to reach it. Will you pick it up? Let's give it a shot, guys. Wow. I can't reach it, no matter how far I stretch. But who's that kid? Y'all hear that sound? What would you guys do if you were to hear that sound? Would you... Like, you would have to be a brave or crazy SOB to come inside these apartments in the dark. I mean, look at that. And then imagine you hear that sound. Guys, I would panic. I wouldn't know what to do. I would just go crazy. My mind would go all over the place. When I first heard this sound, I was terrified because I thought something was on the roof. I mean, on the ceiling crawling or just on the walls I was terrified what are you looking at James are these bullets all over the floor <gasps> a basket cart an HB basket cart <gasps> and look what's in it a gun It looks like the lock is broken. I can't open it. The wall is pockmarked with gunshots. All right, now we have a gun. Oh, look. Okay, guys, we got two important things, a flashlight and a gun. Let's get the hell out of here. So it looks like we're going to have to go to the other side and get that key. How do you do that thing? That's how you do it. I remember there was a way he could run to the side. Hold on, how do we do it? There we go. That's gonna be helpful. I need to get that. Get, let me save my progress. Apartment building, staircase, southwest staircase. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen. But unfortunately, I believe... Can you turn around, James? Yeah. Can you do it like that, James? No? Nope, the camera will not stop. But unfortunately, guys, this is where I'm going to end. Yeah, this is where I'm going to end today's stream of Silent Hill 2, the original on the PlayStation 2. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of my gameplay. There's more to come. There's more to come, and I will play through the whole thing. But thank you guys so much for watching um, my stream. I mean, my stream. My uh, playthrough. And happy anniversary once again to Silent Hill 2. To the creators of this game. To the, to the composer the, who made the sun. The, to the, all the people who worked on this game. Who gave us this wonderful, beautiful game. Thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart. Like This game holds a very sp a special place in my heart. It definitely gave me a whole new sight and vision of horror and emotion and a lot more than what I got from Resident Evil. Sure, Resident Evil was horrifying as well with zombies. I love zombies and everything. But this one just took me, showed me a whole different version of horror and how not only horrifying but emotional, you know, this kind of stuff can be. And yeah, just thank you very much. And I, you know, even though I didn't enjoy the Blair Witch Project, that game, and the blooper team, you know, that they were the ones who worked on it. I, however, will still wish them the best. I do hope they give us a good Silent Hill 2 remake game because, like I said, this one is a true classic horror. One of my favorites on the PlayStation 2 and is the reason why I got into the Silent Hill franchise. So I hope they do a very good job. I wish them the best. And yeah, we'll just have to wait and see how how they do. But we'll see you guys in the next episode. Next episode, we'll take care of the apartment building. We're going to explore the whole uh, apartment building and figure out a way how we can get to the other side uh, to the park. But y'all take care. I hope y'all have a good day or a good night. And I'll see y'all in the, in the next episode of Silent Hill 2, the original on the PlayStation 2. Thanks again, everybody. I, I love y'all. Laters.